So, uh, what's your name? Vanessa Ware. And uh, how are you related to like AT and T? Uh, I'm an employee of 28 years with AT and T. What do you think about AT and T surplusing uh, these jobs in Georgia? I think it's outrageous that they have the audacity <laughs> to surplus good working people, union paying people, and the AT and T corporate people are, you know, getting all these bonuses, making all these millions and millions of dollars when they really, they don't deserve it. We as working people, we deserve it. We're the ones that's keeping them getting their, their um, wages. We're the ones that's helping the stock go up. We're the ones that are doing all of this. And if it was not for them outsourcing our jobs to other countries or, and uh, other places, then we would ha have jobs here and they would not have to allow this to happen. In my department, in the third quarter, we had 35 employees to get laid off. 35 employees to get laid off. And I, I don't understand. I don't understand how they can do that. And now, in my department, because of that layoff, we're getting all this abundance of work and we don't have enough people to do the work. Are, are, are you at risk of being laid off in these surpluses? Believe it or not, I'm, I have 28 years of service and the last, play, uh, the last surplus that affected my office, the person on bottom seniority that got surplus had 26 years. So if there's another surplus this year, yes, I am in, in trouble of being surplus as well. Uh, do, you, do you have a family? It's just me, myself just and okay. I, but I have a home, I have a right. mortgage, and I have nieces and nephews that I try to help to take care of. Yeah, it affected me tremendously because I'm one of those persons that work paycheck to paycheck. And to lose my job, I will lose everything. I'll be one of those persons that's probably in foreclosure. Um, I lose my benefits, you know, no medical benefits. And uh, yeah, it would affect me tremendously.